So the first two lessons are on ratios. And I'm going to demonstrate just some extra examples for you to help you do your homework at home and maybe show mom and dad what kind of things we're working on. So the first question says, write a ratio for the following description. For every three cups of flour in a chocolate chip cookie recipe, one cup of sugar is used, okay? So we can actually make a lot of ratios and I like to label my ratios. The first one, I'm gonna do sugar to flour. I can do one to three, or I can write it as one, two, three. Okay, I can also do sugar to total cups used, which would be one to four, or one to four. Okay, I can also flip these ratios. I can make a ratio of flour to sugar or flour to total cups used. The flour was three to one or three to one. And the flour to the total cups used is gonna be three to four or three to four. And they're red for every one cup of sugar, three cups of flour are used, or you can reverse that. For every three cups of flour, one cup of sugar is used. The other thing we focused on on lesson one and two is questions like this. Give two different ratios with a description of the ratio relationship using the following information. There are 16 boys in the chorus. There are 24 girls in the chorus. Well, the first labeled ratio that I'm gonna make is boys to girls. That's gonna be 16 to 24. For every 16 boys, there are 24 girls. You can also simplify this ratio by dividing them both by eight, and that would simplify to two to three. For every two boys, there are three girls. Okay, and you can flip the ratio, you can um, find a total. The second ratio I'm gonna choose to do, I'm gonna do boys to total for my ratio. There are 16 boys to a total of 40 students in chorus. And to find that 40, I just added 16 and 24 together. I can also do the same with the simplified version of this ra ratio. There's two boys, for every five people in the chorus. 